Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to hand pollinate the flowers on a cucumber plant. There are two main reasons to hand pollinate the flowers on your cucumber plant. The first reason is if you see some of the vegetables dying off because they're not fully pollinated. The second reason is if it's a hybrid variety and you're trying to save some of the seeds for next year's harvest. Here you can see some of the very small cucumbers on my cucumber plant that weren't properly pollinated. I can tell that this wasn't properly pollinated because the cucumber flower is already closed and died off and the cucumber is not growing. Seeing more than one of these on my cucumber plant is a sure sign that there's not enough natural pollinators that's pollinating these female flowers. There might just not be enough pollinators in the area such as bees or other insects, or a lot of these cucumbers are actually in hard to reach places hidden behind the leaves and the pollinators might just have a difficult time getting to them versus other easier to access flowers. Cucumber plants have both male and female flowers on the same plant. The female flowers are attached to what's going to form a cucumber. The male flowers don't have a small cucumber attached. If you're hand pollinating in order to save the seeds of a hybrid variety, you'll need to find a small cucumber on a female flower that hasn't yet opened. You can see this in the video here. If you're trying to save the seeds of a hybrid cucumber in order to dry and plant next year, you have to make sure that the female flower hasn't been pollinated with a different type of cucumber. Natural pollinators such as insects can travel up to a half mile, so the best way of making sure that the female flower is not cross-pollinated is to cover the flower and pollinate it by hand. The flower has to be covered before it opens up to ensure that it won't be pollinated anyway else. To cover the flower, I like to use some cheesecloth and secure this with a loose rubber band. The cheesecloth should be loose around the flower in order for it to grow, and the rubber band should not be very tight so that it doesn't restrict any water flow to the cucumber. If you're just hand pollinating in order to increase the yield, or if you're using an heirloom variety, you can skip this step. Find a female flower on your cucumber plant that's already opened up. You might have to remove cheesecloth if you had some applied. Now find a male flower on the cucumber plant. These can be identified because they don't have a small cucumber growing behind them. Take a small brush and rub it directly into the very center of the flower. This is called the stamen and it's where the pollen is located. After rubbing the brush and the stamen, you should see some pollen come off on the very end of your paintbrush. Now go back to the female flower and rub the paintbrush directly into the center of the flower. This is called the pistil. Make sure that there's a good coverage of pollen on the pistil, and that's all there is to it. If you're hand pollinating to increase the yield of the cucumber plant, you're done now, but if you're hand pollinating in order to save seeds from a hybrid cucumber, you'll have to cover the flower back up with the cheesecloth. This will prevent any pollen from getting into the flower from a different cucumber plant until the flower has fully closed up and died off and the cucumber starts to grow. Thanks for watching this video on how to hand pollinate your cucumber plants. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and as always, like and subscribe to see more content.